Today we're going to be demonstrating our sinus x-rays. The routine views for sinuses will be waters, call well, and lateral. Uh, the lateral will be of the side of interest. We're going to place the shield to the back of the patient. Okay. We're going to have the patient stand up here. We are going to use uh, a horizontal beam because for sinuses we're actually looking for air fluid levels so we're not going to be able to use any tube angles so we're going to have a horizontal beam. So I'm going to first start with the call well view. Now if you remember on the call well view that we, uh, when we do it for, like, for facial bones or something like that, we actually angle the tube. But because we are looking for air fluid levels uh, on sinuses, we're not able to angle. So what we do to compensate for seeing the petrous ridges still in the lower one-third of the orbits, we will get the uh, OML perpendicular and then we will extend the neck back uh, and the head back so about 15 degrees to put the petrous ridges in the same position. So we're going to get the patient up here with the forehead against the board. I'm going to position the OML perpendicular, making sure the head's straight. And then from that point, I'm going to bring the head back about 15 degrees. Now, I usually use the, my, my fingers and just stick them between uh, her forehead. You can use a washcloth or something like that. But bring them back, that's about 15 degrees. And that puts the petrous ridges then uh, in the lower one-third of the orbits. Now, our centering for this, we're going, our central ray is going to exit at the nasion. So I'm just extending my collimation so I can see it a little bit better so I can exit where I need to exit at, at the level of the cantheon. Okay, so I'm about at the level of the acantheon. I make sure I'm in, I need to make sure I'm at the MSB. The head is straight. And then my collimation will change and I'm going to bring it into about the size of a 4x4. Okay, and I'm going to put my marker in the lower part, because for the Caldwell view, what we're actually looking at, we got to make sure I'm centered to my film, and I am. What I'm looking at on uh, the on the uh, Caldwell view is uh, the we're hoping that we're going to see uh, the frontal sinuses. Okay, and uh, so with having the um, lost my train of thought. Bringing the head back, I'm sorry, uh, 15 degrees will put the petrous ridges in the same place, the lower one-third of the orbits. Again, we're using a horizontal beam so we can look at the air fluid levels. So this is our call well view. The technique is going to be uh, 73 to about 77, I'm sorry, 77 kV center cell. And next we're going to do our waters view. So we're going to bring the chin up. We're going to bring it so the MML is perpendicular to the IR. And then we're going to have our central ray open it back up again. We want it to exit at the acantheon. Okay. And in the water's view, uh, extending like this, we hope to put the petrous ridges below the maxillary sinus because the axilla, that is actually our area of interest will be the maxillary sinuses. Collimation again will be about a 4x4. Four and I usually move my marker just to the top, that way I know I'm not going to be, I'm sorry, get your hair in there. I want to make sure that we don't get uh, it, it obstructing any of the, uh, the sinus. Okay, and my film is, is already centered, centered to the MSP. And again, this is our water's view. Uh, technique is going to be about 77 kV center cell. And again, we're looking at the maxillary sinuses. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the lateral. And you're going to ask the patient which is the side of interest, which is there pressure more, pain more on one side or the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a, a left lateral. So if you would turn your head facing that way for me. I'm going to move my marker. And I'm going to take in what I want to do. Again, I want to get the head in a true lateral position. So I want the IPL to be perpendicular to the IR, the MSP to be parallel to the IR, and the IOML perpendicular to the front edge. So I'm going to Step over here real quick, just sort of look at this. Bring your chin down just a little. Okay, then I'm going to move her back just slightly because my centering is actually going to be between the outer canthus of the eye and the EAN. So I'm going to go down just a little bit. It's not at the level of the zygoma like it was for the lateral face. It will just be between the uh, EAM and at the outer canthus level. Collimation will stay about a 4x4. Four making sure I get all the frontal sinus on there. Then I'm going to use my left marker so it's not obstructing. I apologize. I'm going to make sure now I'm going to be centered to my film. Okay. 
Okay. Now this is going to be our lateral view of our uh, sinuses. On this view, you should see all four sets of sinuses. The technique does go down slightly. It's going to be about 70 to 73 kV and center cell. And these are our views for our sinuses.